a very warm welcome to part 2 of the research paper presentation for the International E-Conference of Thakur Institute of Hotel Management. I would now like to welcome Ms. Ruchi Dhatakar, a student of Thakur Institute of Hotel Management from SYBAC in Hospitality Studies with her presentation. My name is Ruchi Dhatakar from Jagudu Singh Charitable Trust from Thakur Shamnara and Degree College of Thakur Institute of Hotel Management. I will be uh, talk, uh, talking about the topic of modernization and modification of hospitality, uh, st hospitality standards. The hospitality, the hospitality industry is a la, is a large. The hospitality study, uh, the hospitality industry is a large subsection with the service industry as is a com compromised of four main areas: food and beverage, travel and tourism, loading and recreation. An example: the food and be uh, food and beverage categories includes restaurant, restaurant bar and food tracks. Travel and tourism covers different forms of transportation and travel. Uh, travel agency loading uh, loading and so, uh, loading and varies from hotel resort to ho hotel years. Uh, recreations refers to leisure activities such as sports, willing and entertainment. While all sectors are in interconnected and relate on each other. Many of these hospitality sectors are quickly uh, evolving due to new uh, technologies and changing co uh, customer mindset. Introduction The Columbia's Farms as it was originally known was, uh, was constructed categorized only on summit the 250 feet of uh, verandas providing an incredible pononyms for guests. The hill, the hill was nearly bare of trees in the in those days, but the captain planted a number of maple around the pro property to en enhance the uh, natural beauty. Like so many of the earlier civilian countries, hotel the Colombian uh, includes a working farm which had which housed a dairy com completed with Jersey cows. Uh, guests were treated to milk, butter, ghee, poultry, pep, uh, sugar, and vegetables. Hotel uh, industry uh, uh, trends. Talking about tre uh, talking about trends, trying to predict them and attempt uh, an attempt an attempting of forces. The future uh, is very much a trend in itself trends are often trends are often provided by uh, new consumer behavior new technology and the new business uh, theories that are uh, powered largely by the farm to to uh, to to factors the the way that hoteliers capitalize on new trends is visual uh, vital to how successful the business remain uh, this block will take you through all the key trends to all uh, aware of today current and embarrassing hotel trends to be uh, aware of smart hotel technology in corrupting of internet things uh, in a property is something that exists guest uh, it offers it offers it offers them it offers them it offers them a high level of conversing of efficiency and also sense of luxury people are starting in correct teach like it is in their own home so that damage or do it in hotels continues in increase uh, robot staff some travelers may find it uh, comforting uh, to the service by robot other may become uh, welcome the ch change uh, chance not to have to interact with human when when staying at their hotels more and more hotels are using robot in some capacity to help uh, autonomous uh, check in check out carry luxury and act as a congress or for room service 
विजुअल रियालिटी एंड अगुमेंटेड रियालिटी यूनिक ब्रांड्स एक्सपीरियंस examples of the examples of the included sharing economy sharing economy digital guest experience digital marketing has been a way to reach traveler for which uh, for while but it continues to grow customers themselves are integrating with digital experience more than even before and are now experienced to the communicated to via digital format apps in particular are seeing a huge rise to huge are the are the tons of ways hoteliers can used app to use app to uh, use app uh, apps to manage the relationship they have with prospective with, with prospective with perspective with perspective and extending guest uh, online travel agent boom of global tourism young market power of social media of uh, obviously ota changed the entire landscape of the hotel industry boom of global tourism boom of to global tourism has grown steadily year and year especially as more uh, nations become uh, developed and low cost carries has enable people to cross the world at a reasonable price young market young market has always had a sense of advantage and desire to travel uh power of social media since the launch of uh, facebook uh, launch of facebook and and other social media uh, platform to in uh, to influence traveler has uh, has closed and will will con- continue the amount will continue the amount of uh, media that can be paused to global uh, educate is a via extremely uh, in in connective brands can make a much better as our contently find a new days to you social media to collect loyal customer meanwhile while meanwhile when travel when traveler shares videos and photo of their trip with friends and family there is one of the most impactful in, uh, impactful factors uh, in uh, Uh, in inspiring others to take a trip the other the other advantage of social media growing growing dominance to that it make your property available to travelers 24/7 with uh, with with messaging instagram is a particular is the place to be f- for hotel and travel brands with its has 1 billion monthly users and 500 million user of stories each day columbia hospitality is a really good fit for hotel windows because the manage uh, because the manage survive, survive hotel that are very much like us to conclude the hotel columbia sector face the following challenges which wish we should expect an increase in hotel demands from business traveler in the main columbia city it is a already happening hotel chain while made the demand more and more hotel chain also take advantage from the nh law 788 conclusion the hospitality industry is com- competitive and business need to keep up with the latest hospitality trends to avoid being left behind uh, additionally additionally keeping uh, space space with the industry as as a whole is a is a whole g- great way to ensure your business deliver the kind of customer experience people want to expect however uh, however the needs and properties of customer have to also change due to covid in the article you will learn about the covid and more uh, journal related trends to be aware in terms of sales and marketing travelers will never uh, need to become more aggressive in the hunt of uh, direct booking ensuring that website for uh, f- offer the best value to guest and 
and drive more uh, direct booking hoteliers must also seek out the opportunities in the current climate providing their uh, offer towards new market and demand that may arise in the certain time thank you thank you so much ms ruchi dhatawkar for that amazing presentation now we have ms janvi jadhav student of thakur institute of hotel management from sy bsc in hospitality studies with her presentation my name is janvi jadhav from thakur shamnarayan degree college currently pursuing bsc in hospitality studies today i will be presenting a case study on kazakhstan under the topic hospitality versatility around the globe the content of the ppt would be culture and cuisine trends and skill in hospitality sector modernization and modification of hospitality standards and sustainable tourism let's start with culture and cuisine food traditional kazakh cuisine is a traditional food of kazakh people it is focused on mutton and horse meat as well as milk products for hundreds of year kazakhs were herds who used fat tailed bactrian camels and sheep and horses relying on these animals for transportation clothing and food the cooking techniques and major ingredients have been strongly influenced by the nation's nomadic way of life for example most cooking techniques are aimed at long term preservation of food there is a large practice of salting and drying meat so that it will last and there is a preference for sour milk as it is easier to save in nomadic lifestyle meat in various forms has always been the primary ingredient of kazakh cuisine and traditional kazakh cuisine is based on boiling horse and mutton are the most popular form of meat and are most often served in large uncut pieces which have been boiled kazakhs cared especially of horse which they intend to slaughter keeping them separate from other animals for feeding so that it is uh, better while eating and uh, it is also difficult for moving them beverages the traditional drinks are fermented mare's milk camel's milk cow's milk and sheep milk as well as their products sour cream katak or iran kurt and imrishk these drinks were traditionally consumed with the main course however meals and with kims and then tea the summer shubat is one of the staple drink of the adai kazakhs black tea was introduced from china after the foundation of silk way and was traditionally consumed with sweets after the main course nowadays it is virtually replaced other tra- traditional drinks and every meal is accomplished with tea trends and skills in hospitality sector in 2017 tourism in kazakhstan contributed 1.4% of gva the industry is made up to 1,18,800 registered businessing businesses employing 4,63,700 people across the country. The number of inbound arrivals in 2018 reached 8.8 million, an increase of 14.1 percent from 2017 and 28.5 percent over five years. Visitors from other countries made up 8.3 percent of the total visitors, but 29.4 percent of the spending. Domestic tourism is also on the rise with 4.7 million trips in 2018 up 7% over 2017 Tourism governance and funding the committee of the tourism industry is part of ministry of culture and sports the main task of the committee is making and implementing tourism policy the committee is supported by kazakh tourism jsc the national tourist organization responsible for the international promotion of tourism in kazakhstan Kazakh Tourish, Tourism (JCS) is also responsible for identifying and conducting negotiations with potential investors in order to attract them to participate in investment projects. At a local level, executive bodies have a range of powers in relation to tourism, which include development planning, coordination, market research, business support, tourism, information, and licensing. The total budget of tourism in 2017 was 4.6 billion rising to 6.5 billion in 2018. The increased funding is attended to improve the infrastructure of tourist destinations investment attractiveness and holding international and domestic events to attract tourists. This is the chart you can see. Now let's see modernization and modification of hospitality standards. The Republic of Kazakhstan has a huge climatic potential 
for the development of tourism and hospitality many regions consider tourism as the prospective direction of economic activity capable to stimulate other spheres and to provide sustainable regional development today the hospitality industry is powerful system of economy of the region or tourist center and an important component of the tourism hospitality industry is the business aimed at providing visitors with housing food as well as the organization of their leisure hospitality is one of the concepts of civilization which thanks to progress and time has become a powerful industry in which millions of professionals work creating the best consumers the hospitality industry includes various spheres of activity of people tourism recreation entertainment hotel and restaurant businesses catering execution activities organization of exhibition and various scientific conferences Despite the period of economic growth in the country and the increase in income the development of tourism in Kazakhstan cannot be considered successful but there is a global experience of successful development of the hospitality and tourism industry and there are countries that have achieved high results the study of the world experience and application taking into the account the specific in Kazakhstan is important for the successful development of the domestic hospitality and tourism industry let's see sustainable tourism in kazakhstan as well as in the cis countries as whole the term sustainable tourism is not appreciated and is almost unknown to the most it is not even used at the government level and would have seen a place in other sectors of tourism development the concept of sustainability was proposed in the report world Com- commission on environment and development in 1987 sustainable tourism in relation to nature as well as involvement of local people in all process related to the management of tourism activities world tourism organization sustainable tourism development satisfies the present uh, tourist and host regions while protecting must be exercised so that they meet economic social and aesthetic needs but also protect the cultural integrity essential ecological processes and biological diversities and life support systems The concept of sustainable tourism is not widely accepted in the CIS countries mainly because of most of the countries are not familiar with this concept with the result that is weakly correlated with the management of the raw potential material nevertheless Kazakhstan in 2012 took a took over the fashionable concept of green economy similar to the ideas of sustainable development however this concept has appeared to be independent branch of the country it is at least but it is not dominated by the idea of maximum conservation for future generations and by minimizing damage of nature green economy rather is based on technological projects of alternative energy and energy efficiency of the economy it does not focus on environmental pollution in some sectors but it is actively developing environmentally environmental friendly technologies in other sectors thank you have a nice day thank you so much miss janvi jadhav for that insightful presentation now i would like to welcome mr jaden fernandez student of thakur institute of hotel management from sybsc in hospitality studies to present his topic My name is Jain Fernandez from Thakur Shamnarayan Degree College, second year Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Studies. Today, I will be presenting the topic Hospitality Versatility Around the Globe, a case study on Peru. So, the summary: Peruvian cuisine and culture, international influences on Peruvian cuisine, trends and skills in the hospitality sector, sustainable tourism in Peru, modernization and modification in the hospitality industry. development and challenges in the hospitality sector so we'll start with the peruvian cuisine and cultural influences first one peru in peru is south america's third largest country and has three distinct regions within its borders there are the andean highlands the coast and the amazon basin peruvian food is often referred to as the criolla or creole because of the blend of spanish asian incan and other european cuisine influences which are integrated into their cooking ingredients are based heavily on potatoes beans rice beef eggs lamb fish corn chicken and especially the aji or chili 
Each region offers different but influential indigenous culinary meats, fruits and vegetables to their menus which provide diversity within Peruvian cuisine. Next topic is international influence in Peruvian cuisine. The Spanish and European influences were integrated into the Peruvian food culture in the 1500s and also the African slave introduction to Peru had influence on the food. The Spanish introdu introduced chicken, pork and lamb and began to grow crops such as beans, carrots, barley and wheat. African slaves introduced different spices, bananas, pumpkins and sugarcane to Peru. Peru Peruvian food offers spectacular cultural and biodiverse combinations of cooking techniques and ingredients which were brought to this land from across the globe during several centuries of immigration. The cultural diversity of Peru's cuisine is what separates it from the rest of the food world. Here you can see some of the Peruvian dishes. You got Lomo Saltado and Aji de Galia. Now let's go to the next one, the trends and skills in the hospitality sector. About the market, tourism is an important component in the, of the economy as well as a significant source of foreign exchange revenues contributing to a sizable percentage of the country's GDP. Peru's tourism sector accounts for approximate 25% of the total economy and plans to double the figure by 2023 by improving infrastructure, accessibility, health and hygiene as well as enhancing online promotional marketing strategy leading to opportunities. The government of Peru has incorporated modern market trends in the hospitality sector to improve tourism and create more awareness about the country being more hospitable to the tourist. Here you can see some of the pictures about sustainable tourism in Peru. Now let's talk about sustainable tourism in Peru. The concept of sustainable tourism has grown out of the concept of sustainable development that is SD which arose from the World Commission on Environment and Development. Tourism activity in Peru has been experiencing significant growth in the last 10 years. Positioning the economic sector as the third largest contributor to the national gross domestic product that is GDP. In the environmental field, it generates more emissions of greenhouse gases increasing the carbon footprint. The government, the, governor, the government of Peru supports the importance of involving and directing tourism to the use of renewable energies to maintain sustainable tourism. Now you can see modernization and modification of the hospitality standard. You can see some pictures. Now let's talk about modernization and modification of the hospitality standard. One of the major hurdles for the development and modernization of the hospitality sector of Peru has been the lack of adequate infrastructure, especially roads which hinder the movement of tourists. The government has focused on improving and modernizing its infrastructure to improve tourist activity. At the World Travel Awards, Peru emerged as the best green destination at the so-called Oscars of the travel industry. There has been a major pro-development in the Lima region of Peru, but the modernization and development is modest in the other parts of the country. Now the development and challenges in the hospitality sector. Peru is a good example of the development of a third world country into a middle income country. HDI rank 89. On one hand, Peru demonstrates some of the characteristics and trends of a rich and developed country. On the other hand, it has characteristics of a developing country. The government of Peru is implementing structural reforms so as not to jeopardize the positive development of the hospitality sector. The challenges have always been part of the development structure in Peru towards the hospitality and tourism sector. The improvement has been on the rise and has been healthy towards progress. The future of the hospitality sector looks bright for Peru. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you so much Mr. Jaden Fernandez for that incredible presentation. Now we have with us Mr. Sarthak Dalvi, a student of Thakur Institute of Hotel Management from SYBSE in Hospitality Studies with his presentation. Hello everyone, my name is Sarthak Dalvi. I am from Thakur Institute of Hotel Management. Today I am going to give a presentation on sustainable tourism in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Ecotourism and Costa Rica have become to mean a same word. 
Costa Rica attracts about a million visitors a year. Well organized government promotions and reputation or as the safest country in uh, Central America attracts a large number of North American and European visitors. Costa Rica tourism is unusual in that large part of it relates to special interest groups. Ecotourism Traveling to undistributed areas and enjoying the sceneries and its wild plants and animals generates about $38 billion worldwide. What is ecotourism? While we do not intend to get into the debate about what consists ecotourism, it is worth nothing that def definition and philosopher differs. The International Ecotourism Society offers a sustained and well widely accepted definitions travel to nature areas that concerns the environment and sustains the well-being of local people. Ecotourism is environmentally responsible travel uh, and visit, visitation to relatively undistributed natural area. With the overwhelming response of ecotourism as an environmentally sustainable and economically viable conservation strategy, scholars and on ecotourism appeals to promote activists with little or no true attention to environmental and social responsibility. The increase in tourism since 1990s, the tourism number the number of tourists has stabilized at about 50,000. The nature of the tourists has changed. At the beginning, they were mainly specialists. Now the tourists have a more general interest in the forest and seek a balance between entertainment and adventure and knowledge. Monte Verde now accounts for about 80% of Costa Rica total tourist revenue. Impact The growth and development of tourism came at a time when there was a long decline agriculture in Costa Rica. Ecotourism was able to absorb some of the displaced agriculture workers in their own village. Much of this development was a small scale. For example, 70% of the hotels in Costa Rica have fewer than 20 rooms. New businesses have been created in Monte Verde, including hotels, restaurants, supermarkets, bar, and many of these are locally owned. Thank you, Mr. Sarthak Dalvi, for that wonderful presentation. Now we have with us Ms. Arina Sheikh student of Thakur Institute of Hotel Management from SYBSE in Hospitality Studies with her presentation. Greetings of the day. Myself, Arina Sheikh from SYBSE Hospitality Studies from Thakur Samnayan Degree College, Thakur Institute of Hotel Management. Today, I am going to present hospitality vitality around the globe. My research topic is to study and understand development and challenges in hospitality industry in UAE under the guidance of Gorosar and Ashikhi. Abstract, the purpose of this research is to understand the development and challenges faced by UAE. United Arab Emirates country is in the Middle East. Impact of pandemic on UAE industry challenges faced by UAE restaurants and how to overcome Dubai hotels achieved profitability levels seven times higher than 2019. Introduction The United Arab Emirates is one of the key countries in the Gulf region which has been contributing a major share to hospitality industry. The closure of international borders due to COVID pandemic for longer periods resulted in sudden drop in the number of revenue generated from industry. However, the country's strategic location, fast-growing world-class and life, improved transportation infrastructure, 
has helped the country to grow fastly during the study period, except 2020 due to pandemic. Two third of world population live within an eight-hour flight distance from the UAE and international airlines like Emirates and Etihad Airlines, which were offering the best in class. International travel are becoming major drivers for the growth of the tourist sector in the country. Over the past decade, through sensing these sectors, the country experienced rapid and sustained growth. Strategy and finance. Understand the new customer behavior and intent. Offered the passengers free coronavirus medical coverage. Offered. Free global coverage for COVID-19 health expense and quarantine costs. Understand the new duty of care and travel policy. Conclude a comprehensive industry-government recovery partnership to collaborate on all aspects of tourism recovery. Created a demanded to the face of economic reopening with the inspirational and informative messaging the encourages. Safe tourism and domestic vacation experience. Execute a small marketing and travel trade program targeted at the highest potential source market and interrupted travel consumer segment to recognize international demand. Be strategic with your digital marketing effort and invest in the right digital marketing channel. Localize your Content, including your website, promotional, collaborative brochures, etc., to target your global audience. The challenges of restaurant industry in UAE: high rentals, too much competition, too little customer, lack of a USP, high staff contribution, and labor cost. Impact of pandemic coronavirus disease on United Arab. Emirates tourism country. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused such a public health emergency. The drop in economic and tourist activity is most continuous, especially in Asia, has resulted in a financial crisis with unqualifiable consumers, unpredictable global travel bans, and stay-at-home order triggered. The most severe distribution in the global economy. Tourism specially ended in March 2020, with international travel bans affecting 90% of the world's population and widespread limitations on public meetings and com- community mo- mobility. The current study looks the origins and progression of the coronavirus pandemic. Because of its more limited mobility and social isolation, tourism is highly valuable to pandemic prevention measures. Based on the tourist indicator and their signatures, UAE chosen as a study targeted country. Also, it explored in depth the effect of pandemic on the tourism sector. The study highlighted the most critical initiatives to help tourism and hospitality industry globally and nationally. Finally, the research addressed the tourism industry's response and recovery strategy to ensure that COVID tourism are not exposed. Research from UAE Room Inventory. Research, uh, research from JLL has revealed that 7,400 teams has already been added to Dubai hotel stock this year. The, this brings the total inventory of 1,34,000 keys in Abu Dhabi hotel inventory remains stable at 30,100 with no new addition. Literature review first. And for most, it should be understood that the very idea of hotel industry is generally in playground of huge economic activity. As we can observe, international industry presents a 
refined from a globalization and its influence in the almost all sectors and industries the significant part is the globalized has opened up an avenue and numerous opportunities for hotel industry to reap the benefit from conclusion from our brief fragmented analysis we can round up the hotel industry in uae is not a object to think about since the 2009 global economic downturn UAE have recovered dramatically in the sectors of an economic it also be observed that the hotel industry don't lack of behind in its recovery the UAE government and its initiative to increase a uh, create awareness about the various programs and back to back conferences that are held in the country as well as tourism development program and its develop uh, its development has a specific contribution towards the growth of hotel and hospitality industry in us the above analysis which we have defined in very basic of revenue is earning for hotels and numbers of guests night case are some examples of the economic effect the generate from visitors who often prefer coming in new age for the luxury treatment and preference of five and seven star accommodation hotel industry analysis of ua the united arab emirates is one of the leading hospitality destination boost several chains of hotels and independent hotels the reason program of this industry that holiday destination the, the region uh, has also widened treatment development projects that promote the hotel industry including the first ever theme park in dubai and a warner bros world the in hotel industry they are uh, certified including food low cost hotels and quality of services has made its hotel industry the best in the world the uae tourism sector has highlighted the impact of hotel inventory in enhancing the growth and development in hospitality including the project increase in the upcoming years by the additional 130000 rooms by the end of 2020 dubai is one of the top destination to visit many tourists hence underscoring the hotel industry critical role in achieving the overcome understand the hotel industry require analysis through segment and targeting the four piece word analysis consisting and strategic development intervention and head has outcome thank you thank you so much miss arina sheik for that amazing presentation with this we come to an end of part 2 of the research paper presentation we shall now move towards the research paper presentation part 3